Hello, um, today I'm going to talk about some uh, architecture tool, which is like buildings, walls, roofs, all that. Um, you know, to do draw walls, you want to start with the top plan. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, just draw lines, you know. Um, they will, the good thing is they'll automatically, you know, detach for you, you know. And then, um, and you can do setup in here, you know, that's basically what it was. Um, and when you click the walls, you know, you can look at this um, window and they will tell you the, you can set up the thickness, you know. That's basically it, you know, not much stuff. Um, so just, just remember, you after you draw walls, if you want to change things, you change here. And uh, if you want to be more specific, you go to components, okay. Um, you know, you can create new components. Which is set up the new things, you know. Basically, just thickness, feels, how the look, the graphics, the textures, you know, not not much things, okay. Um, and then if you want to draw new things, you can just always, you know, they'll automatically create for you, okay. Um, they're also really important called wall join tool. Um, basically, if you draw a wall, like a separate wall, um. Like this, you want to join them. Uh, you can use this wall join tool. See here. Just remember, there are different join mode. Okay. For example, this one join. You click this, you click this, then you will join. You click this, click this, you will join somehow. Okay. Um, you can also click this one, click this, click this, so they join. Okay. Uh, let's go to 3D view. So for see here, this is basically what we draw with all the walls. Uh, you could actually select all of them. I think they're all too tall. You can change the height, make them six. Uh, uh, that's six inch. I need six feet. Um, six feet. So they're getting taller. Okay. Um, and for specific sections, you could double click. Oops. See, you can double click. You can move, you know, and you could move in, move out, and uh, you know if you select specific walls like this one, you can right click and edit, so they will you can change the height, you know, super easy. Um, for specific one, you can even do you know customize shape of the walls you want. Okay. Um, like same with this one. See, I can make them whatever shape I want. You know, um, so it's pretty flexible, and um, just play with them, okay? Um, and it's straightforward, okay? Um, just remember the join tool and the wall tool. Then the other thing is roof. Um, for roof, um, you just um, Click the, make sure to select the walls first, and then you go to landmark, go to architecture, and create roof. Okay. Usually, you know, I will just do, you can change thickness, you know, bearing, intersect the pitch angle, all those. Um, I just click OK and see the roof first, and then I can change here. You know, if the thickness I can change to 10, see it becomes thicker. If you wanna look at specific things you could you know um, just check the difference of those and then you will will see okay well by the way this is pitch if you want to change here 50 so it becomes super um, a little bit steeper um, okay um, so that's roof and then uh, let's talk about the other topic is snap um, so basically you could um, just draw a shape that's first first way you can do. Um, you just uh, right click, create object from shapes, and then you can pick. See, uh, there's snap. You click it here and you click OK. So there's snap tool. So you can have snap. You know, um, which is you know I can delete the initial one and this is snap. Um, what this snap do is you just 
piece of service okay but you can double click you can change the boundary see this is a boundary you can draw things on it um, you see you can add you know um, you can select them you can add service um, I guess yeah that's it I add it and then you can also draw small things and you can clip service so there will be a hole and it clicks here it's kind of like extrude but there's a have properties which is uh, um, the snap okay um, the, the, the major thing with snap is you can do drainage okay see here this is snap drainage tool what do you do you just click it uh, and you have to do it in plan view usually when we talk drainage is we just set up drainage hole which is this create drain drainage mode um, you can before you do that you want to make sure um, the slope you should see this two percent and you can um, set up the symbol and then you click see here they will have all these kind of stuff okay to show you all the directions how it goes if you want to um, edit you can just edit drainage and you so use this edit mode see here you can change them again and you can edit drain you can you know diameter different symbols you can all you can do all those okay um, if you don't like the slopes you can also change you know the well so here I can make it five percent see this all change to five percent okay um, so um, if you go to the isometric view see here so we'll see then you will see like this lab have some drainage down here it's not too flat see here that's the cool part about it okay um, I forgot one thing for snap you can also do all kind of 3d like solid you know things you see here you can click a ball you know you can click it click it and uh, it's a, actually you can do all kind of solid um, operation see here right now there's there's single one you can do solid uh, intersections add subtract all those kind of stuff right here. okay um, the other thing I forgot to talk about is um, you can actually draw snaps based on wall um, that will save you quite a bit of time so for example if we have walls like this and uh, you could click snap and the first step is actually you can select all the walls click OK so see here there will be snaps showing up inside of here okay um, that's pretty cool um, the other thing I forgot to talk about is contours so you can actually do contours in this thing um, so you can you can show them right uh, what this was is you want to select them first and you go to whatever views like a back okay so you have this back and then you just draw lines for example uh, in the 3d models see these contours hover over with other things click it see they have all the contour lines down here okay so when you then you will see the slopes okay pretty well okay um, that's the cool thing about this all right so the next thing is windows so for windows basically you just um, you know, add windows. Let's just go to this one because it's easier. And uh, I just, you know, select this window tool and I just hover over the wall and double click. So they will have windows down there. Okay. Um, you know, double click. You know, they will have windows. Double click. They will have windows. It's super easy. And the wall, the the door, the same thing. You just double click. They have doors. Okay. It's just like a Revit family, families, okay. Uh, and you can set up things, you know. Um, for example, um, like this, this window, I can just click it. Um, you know, I like the the height. I can just say, you know, the width. I can change them to like fifty inch, so they become wider. Okay, so you can easily manipulate and change them okay uh, the last thing I want to talk about is in the plan view um, you could actually set up really cool things like um, you know, visualization this is um, 
called the render camera tool. You just draw a line. You know, they will have some properties pop up. You just click OK. So you have an object called camera. Okay. So this is a camera. Basically, they will set up the camera lens. You could um, create the create the specific class for it. Um, for example, I usually do that. Camera um, is in the dimensions, so assigned to selection. So you can hide them if you don't need it. You know, that's pretty cool. When you need it, you click it. And you when you activate camera, so this is a view you're looking at, okay? Um, the render mode, you can go to OpenGL, so just whatever. So it's just an easy way to look at it. Um, and then you can show up in your plan view too, okay? So basically, uh, that's it. Thank you.